All right, I configured it as we talked about. Diagram 2.4.2.2 from the handbook. And uh, V1 was uh, neutral to line one, the 120 leg. V2, neutral to line two, 100, other 120 leg. And then I added V3, I added the 220 leg from V3 to this V3. Uh, and then corresponding current loops for all, and I put the 220 current loop down here on part C. And then when I configured it, you can see uh, the general thing here, this three phase, if I didn't have it three phase, because the options are single phase, two phase, three phase. If I did just the AB, I lost the, a bunch of the PGNs that I needed for it. And then came to the advanced leg, nothing changed here, just you know, normal installation, 100 amp loops. These PGNs, I did have to enable about half of these. They weren't all uh, labeled when I, or enabled when I turned it on. And then as far as the frequencies, uh, transmitting PGNs. So if we look here, let's see here, uh, B basic quantities it, for the phase B, the line to line voltage, I'm not sure if you can see that or not, line to line voltage is 314, whereas the neutral line is the 113 that I expected, 60 hertz and then the current amp for each of those. So that was line B, A quantities, you could see the line to line was 196 with 114 voltage and the same current amp is all flowing there. Now C, so this is the 220 basic quantities, so it's producing the line to line voltage, it says it was 314 whereas the line to neutral is uh, 220. 60 hertz, currently 12 amps. Um, with all those PGNs enabled, I was able to make this screen real quick, which is the voltage, current, frequency for each leg, and power for that leg, and then uh, the total power calculated down here, which all makes sense to me. Appreciate the help.